On today's episode of Watch Share Go, I buy a 2006 Mazda 6 hatchback. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Share Go, and last night, when it was completely dark outside, one of my friends hit me up and said, I have a Mazda 6 over here. It's actually my friend that I bought the Accord from earlier this year for 800 bucks. And he said, I want uh, 1,050 for this car. And I said, cool, I'll make you the usual deal of paying you $800 cash. Of course, I'm seeing this for the first time in the daylight as you guys are. So today we're gonna check out the car, see what I bought for $800 and uh, decide what I need to fix to get this thing back out of my life. First of all, I love the color, the blue. It really pops. Mazda's really good at making cars that smile. As you can see, this big grinning face on the six and great colors, honestly. This car, uh, I think everyone bought it in purple for the most part, purple, gray, or black, but this one's blue and it's the four-door hatchback instead of the four-door sedan. So the entire back end opens up and it's huge. They also made this in a wagon and the wagon would be very cool, but also much more rare. First of all, this thing is powered by a slightly broken V6 three liter Ford Mazda shared, I think it's the Duratec in this car. The owner had just gone to O'Reilly's and scanned the car and showed me a picture of the OBD scanner and it said misfire on cylinder six. So we'll see if that diagnosis is true. I grabbed my Autel MX-808 and we'll hook it up and see what it has to say about the car. But first, let's just uh, do a quick walk around and see what we've got here. So it looks like it got into a little bit of a fight with a fence or another car right in here. You can see there's uh, plastic pulled back on the fog light housing. There's a lot of scratches all the way through the paint down to the plastic on the bumper. Uh, paint has gone all the way down to the bare metal on the hood a little bit. Like I said, I don't know, a fence, it went under something, I'm not quite sure what. Headlights, ooh, they're already thin. They've been cleaned multiple times. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with those one bit. Of course, it's covered in dirt because we've had this filthy snowstorm that lasted the last two days or so. We can finally be outside again, but all the cars, every car around here is just covered in dirt. So it needs detail, that is for sure. We've got a sticker over here, damn music festival 2017. I gotta get that off of there. Let's see what tires, Eagle Sports. We've got good years on this bad boy. That's pretty awesome. Let's get the hood open real fast. Since we're up front, we'll just take a look there. Look at that, we've got the flip key, the factory flip key remote, pretty cool, and the second key as well. Always happy to see two keys on a car. Here is our three liter V6. And uh, honestly, it looks like it was cleaned somewhat recently. It's covered in that like sticky dirt, which is a good sign that it's been cleaned with some type of interior cleaner or a wheel, wheel and tire shine, something like that. It looks relatively clean. And uh, I know it's got a little bit of a shake. I was driving home and it felt like it had a misfire. Uh, this battery looks like it's been replaced. And uh, the terminal work is absolutely horrible. Somebody put on some very generic terminals and that ground wire is barely hanging on there. I'm gonna have to tighten that. Oh, uh, thanks whoever did that. And it would be awesome if the battery hold down existed, but it does not. I did check the oil real quick and it's uh, not pretty, but it's also not milky. So I don't think there's any head gasket issues or anything like that. That's all I cared to know. Coming around the side, we've got a lot of paint missing from the mirror that's been rubbing on some things. Who knows, walls, cars, whatever it is you like to rub your car on. Uh, there's a big <laughs> dent right in there. Somebody did one of those, I don't like this car, door slams right there. Got Mazda 6 pinstriping. Okay, this one's actually a Kumo. So we have mismatched tires, but the, I don't know, tread depth feels all right. It's not a terrible tire. It looks like this thing was detailed once by a detail shop here in Wichita that is basically known for destroying paint. So let me go ahead and get that sticker off of here. Okay, so that sticker is cleaned up. Now for this sticker. Coming around back, we have the awesome hatchback, Wichita State tag frame on there. She's open. Oh. <laughs> As always, the struts are completely shot. And that thing is heavy, what a beast. But uh, here we have the factory floor mats it looks like, and a lot of plastic and hoses and what on earth. Shop back attachment. I needed one of those, yeah. that worked out great. We can release the seats. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. What a gigantic cargo area inside this thing. You can put another car inside this car. Well, that's it for the hatch. I'm tired of holding it up already. I did get on Amazon last night. 
uh, because I did open this when I was uh, checking out the car and bought hatch struts. We've got dual exhaust because it's the beast mode Mazda 6 with all the horsepower. The passenger side actually looks pretty good. Of course, there's some scratches. I can see some primer in that scratch but nothing crazy, no big dents. This car is just not bad. So my buddy told me he put some oil in it. We got some Castrol GTX 5 W20 there. We got uh, some old Dylan's bags. Let's take a look at everything. Looks like a jack handle here. Popping inside this 06 Mazda 6, we have a very empty glove box. We have a broken upper center console here. Uh, it looks like that might be able to be fixed. Somebody was just beating on it too hard there. What else? Sunglasses case that's empty. Oh uh, yeah, it's got all the things. Sunroof, cool. That's a cruise, steering wheel controls, a cool integrated radio that is a six disc changer. I was not expecting that. In the center console, what do we have here? Insurance, a key, a barrel key, some Sony headphones that are I don't want to touch. This is the same FM transmitter I just got out of the 5 Series. That's pretty cool. I got two Skosh FM transmitters. What else do we have in here? Some money, and uh, that's basically it. There's a 12 volt power in here. This is a good driver. This is gonna make somebody an excellent car. Seats are in all right shape. Bolsters don't look terrible. The carpets are clean. What on earth? How many miles are on this car? 193, 194 almost. We got a check engine light, cruises on. Huh. Well, it's really clean for almost 200,000 miles. Everything seems to be in order inside, which is pretty odd for a car I bought for $800. Let's hook the scanner up and see what's wrong with it. Come on, can't you put this in some like normal, there it is, spot. Instead, it's like almost all the way to the passenger side here. All right, hooked up. Let's boot up the MX-808. Okay, I'm lazy here, so we're gonna go ahead and auto VIN scan. I don't wanna have to look up the car or anything like that. Mazda, Asia. It knows that it's secretly a Ford. Automatic selection, okay. 2006 model year. And yes, it is that car. You nailed it. Auto scan. All right, it looks like our auto scan is complete here. Let's go to report. Let's see what we've got. Cylinder six misfire detected. Honestly, nothing crazy here. Cylinder six misfire is the only real issue. As always, we've got all the live data in the world. Look at the accelerator pedal, position sensors and everything. There's barometric, brake on, off, <laughs> brake pressure switch and everything. Man, this is so cool. get some little things here. I noticed the driver's side wiper blade was basically shot, so we got a nice beam blade here. And I went ahead and picked up the plugs here, and everything else will be here tomorrow. So there you go, that is my $800 2006 a Mazda 6. I'm super excited about this one because it's a really nice car, super easy to fix. And I just hopped on Amazon to buy the coil. I was like, yeah, I'll get one coil, we'll get this thing done, out the door, put one spark plug in it. But it turns out it's like $64 for all six coils, all six platinum spark plugs, and a set of Felpro intake gaskets. So instead of just replacing the one bad coil, I'm gonna go ahead and do all six, do all the plugs. I mean, it'll be brand new for the next guy. I went ahead and ordered the hatch struts as well, which means I'm like, I don't know, $80 into every single part for this car, and whoever gets it is going to love it. So I'm gonna go get it detailed real quick. I don't even wanna mess with this one. It's so clean that it just needs a, a quick once over. And uh, then uh, maybe, Probably not touching the headlights on this car because they honestly, they've been done a few times. Any more will make them worse. How's it going? Hey, uh, just the everything. The works? Yeah. Gotcha. I'll write this on the windshield and they can help you just right up front. Cool, thank you. Uh, just the works package. Yeah. It's gonna be 46, there you go. 23 if you read a sign from here. Cool. So you have a great day. Thank you, you too. Like to see us. Into the sea.
right, well, those dudes are in there doing the entire interior for me for $44. Everyone always complains about that. Uh, I'm gonna get the floor mats done. I'm just gonna run through here like 20 times and they should look brand new. So tomorrow, all the parts should be here and this car should be sold. I don't need to see it in my driveway anymore. I was uh, happy to own it for one day. I might make one more video with it tomorrow as I fix everything. So that is it. This was, a, I think, a really good deal on a car finally, and maybe I'll make some money. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to head on over to shopwatchchairgo.com. I'll throw a link in the description below. Pick up some merch and the uh, awesome RA Avoid Your Problems shirt. As you can see, I'm clearly avoiding my problems, but this one will actually be worth it. So please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. All right, so my neighbor just changed his oil and was like, hey, can that thing reset your oil light? And I was like, yeah, but it's a Chevy. It's like the easiest thing to do in the world, but, this thing can do it for you. So let's just go ahead and let the Autel do it. Now this is nice to see. That's not something that happens in my fleet. There's no errors. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It hasn't found a single code yet. Automatic HVAC, I don't know why it matters for this. ECM, auto oil reset, procedure in progress, and engine oil life is zero. Awesome, engine oil life is now 100. Perfect. Cycle the key, we'll start the car. And we should no longer have anything about oil life. <laughs> now I don't have to remember the procedures anymore. Just bust this thing out and hit reset. On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, I need chapstick. <laughs>